If you guys have a 2020 to 2022 Ford Super Duty and you wanna upgrade those dingy looking H13 halogen bulbs, this is the best option. This is the GTR Lighting Ultra 3 bulb. It's the brightest bulb in the world. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the front end of your vehicle. I'm gonna show you what it looks like compared to your stock bulbs, the Ultra 2 bulbs, the ones that came out years ago from GTR Lighting, and then I'm gonna show you how to install it. The third generation of the popular GTR lighting LED bulbs provide even more darkness destroying output than ever before. Unlike its competitors, every aspect has been carefully considered, resulting in a multifaceted masterpiece that leaves no detail behind. It's equipped with custom LEDs. It's a powerhouse that ensures unparalleled performance, while its optimized positioning guarantees efficient light distribution, eliminating the wastage. GTR Lighting is committed to building a durable LED bulb. It's 100% potted and waterproof, ready to conquer anything. It's also super compact with an internal driver, providing 4,700 lumens of luminosity output with effortless installation. It's also backed by a lifetime warranty. It's a bulb that outshines and outlasts the competition. Just remember, LED headlight bulbs are not street legal in the USA, and we advise you to not drive with these installed on public roads. In off-road settings, these are fine to use, but using bulbs this bright on the street may be uncomfortable to other drivers. Your original headlight is this massive reflector-based headlight housing, and it's really important to replicate the original bulb used, which is a halogen bulb. It's an H13 bulb type. There's one here and one here. An H13 has a dual filament, which means that it does both low beam and high beam out of each bulb. So you got two for low beam on each side and then two for high beam on each side. Now GTR Lighting has done very good at replicating that wire wound filament out of the H13 bulb. So for years they've been having this nailed down. Now that they've got the Ultra 3, it's even better. It's a more refined beam pattern. It's even brighter and I wanna show you guys that now. I'm gonna take this Super Duty, I'm gonna back it 10 meters from the wall, and I'm simply gonna use a digital lux meter. It measures the actual usable brightness at a certain point on the wall. I'm just trying to make a benchmark to then compare the Ultra 2 and then the Ultra 3 to show you how much brighter it is. Now this is what your stock halogen low beams look like, and right off the bat, you're gonna notice that color. You already know what this is, it's terrible, it's ugly, it's that dated looking yellow color, and it's not bright at all. Yeah, the beam pattern's not bad, but 419 maximum lux at the brightest point on this wall is laughable. Out of a headlight housing that's so huge, I feel like they could have done a lot better, especially when this is coming out of two bulbs. Remember, those bulbs both do low beam and high beam. The Ultra 2 definitely stepped it up. Again, that was that bulb that came out years ago. First things first, the bright white color looks so much better than that halogen bulb you had. But on low beam, I measured 1,703 maximum lux. So it was 306% brighter. And this was years ago, guys. When this came out, everybody wanted it. Everybody needed it for their Super Duty. The Ultra 3 steps it up. And first things first, again, the color changes from a bright white to a more warmer white, a little bit more easier on the eyes when you're driving long distances. I measure 2,889 maximum lux. And no, this is not made up. It is 589% brighter than your stock bulbs. It is intense, the brightest bulb I've ever tested out of everything in the market. Your original bulbs on high beam, I measured 522 maximum lux. That's actually not terrible. It's got a pretty good beam pattern, but the Ultra 2 blew that away when I measured 1,557 maximum lux. It was 198% brighter, and the Ultra 3 was much brighter. 2,392 maximum lux. I measured 358% brighter on high beam. This is a no-brainer, a set it and forget it product. It is wild seeing that much light output or more brightness out of your headlights by simply changing out a bulb. What I'm gonna do now is show you guys how to do the install. A lot of you are going to just skip through this or not watch it at all. So if you wanna to go to headlightrevolution.com, I wanna tell you right now, this bulb might be sold out because it is super popular. This is gonna be one of the most popular bulbs on our website. It's super bright. It is undoubtedly the best option when it comes to replacing your halogen bulb and installing an LED bulb. If you want to upgrade the entire housing, we've also tested a ton of different housings for this truck. Go to headlightrevolution.com. Everything you see on that website is something that we've truly tested and we could recommend to our friends and family. Now, let's show you the install. First thing you have to do is pop the hood. 
Once the hood is raised, we're gonna remove this plastic cowl on top of the front grill. Remove all of the push tabs, and then you can pull it away. From there, you're gonna have six 10 millimeter bolts to remove from the top of the grill. Locate the bottom of your grill. If you have the chrome bumper, it looks like this, you're gonna to need to remove this chrome piece. It is a pain in the butt if this has not been off before. Grab yourself a variety of pry tools and start working on one corner. Work your way over to the next corner. Eventually, it will come off, revealing the two 10 millimeter bolts you're gonna to need to remove. There's one on each side by the driver's side and the passenger side headlight. Before removing the grill, there are two more 10 millimeter nuts. They're at the top corner of each side of this grill. Reach into the grill and pull it away fiercely on each side. It will come loose, I promise you that. If you only get the top undone and the bottom is still stuck, you can take a long flathead screwdriver, reach it down, push the tabs, and then you can pull your grill away. Now you have two 10 millimeter bolts on the top of your headlight housing and then one down here by the side of the bumper. Now, if this bumper is raised up, watch our other video on lowering the bumper. You are gonna have to lower the bumper just enough to get a 13 millimeter socket in here to remove this bolt. I know it's annoying, but thankfully a lot of these front bumpers have already been lowered, so hopefully you're not the one that has to lower it. Now your headlight's released. Pull it away, and then you can reach in and disconnect your OEM connector, turn your bulb counterclockwise, and pull it away. Grab your H13 Ultra 3 bulb, put it back in the exact same way your other one came out, and then make sure that the cord of your bulb is facing the ground. Once you get it locked into place, you can twist it a little bit. That is the way you want to adjust it. So that way your LEDs are shooting horizontally to produce a good beam pattern inside of this headlight housing. Don't forget to connect your OEM connector. Do the same thing for the lower bulb. And then the other side, put everything back together in reverse order and you're good to go. Now, if you need to raise or lower your headlight, find this little thing right here with the Phillips screwdriver on the top of your headlight housing and turn it clockwise. That will lower your beam pattern or counterclockwise and that will raise up your light output. That's all it takes to get these aligned. If you wanna see the full video where we go in depth aligning this specific to your vehicle and how you drive, check that video out. Otherwise, you're good to go. The last thing we wanna do with bright headlights is blind oncoming drivers, so make sure you don't skip this step. Now that's the brightest bulb in the world. Remember, this is a set it and forget it product. You only have to do this once. It has a lifetime warranty. It's going to outshine and outperform every LED bulb out there. If for some reason that's not enough and you want more features like a sequential turn signal or a startup feature, check out the other headlight housings on our website, headlightrevolution.com. We've tested a whole bunch of them. We spent like $10,000 on headlights to find the best one. We'll show you every single feature of each one so you can make an informed decision. Thanks for watching and post anything in the comments below if you have any questions.